Hey, Motor Man here. If you've been to this channel before, I do a lot of tips, tricks, and techniques using the motor officer techniques, and I show them to you, the average rider, and hopefully to improve your riding immensely. But today, we're gonna talk about an adjustment that you can make on your motorcycle that makes things more comfortable and easier to maneuver the motorcycle. And we're gonna start with the handlebars because it's a really easy adjustment if you know what to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and we're going to loosen this bolt right here. There's two of them, of course. There's one on this side and one on the other side. Now, I've already loosened this up and they come from the factory not extremely tight, probably because they're in plastic. We're going to take this off. Notice also I've covered the tank because you just never know. Better to be safe than sorry. Now, let's move around to the other side. All right, we're going to take off the other 5 30 seconds, Alan. 5 30 seconds, Alan. Appreciating your help there, camera yep, girl. Sure. Now we're going to straighten out the handlebars because what we want to do is we want to get to the two bolts that are right over here. There are actually four bolts holding the handlebars down, but we only need to get to two of them. And that's a good thing because it's just about impossible to get to the other two without taking this out and the whole fairing. So once I got these bolts off, just gonna move this around a little bit. And now you're gonna take a quarter inch or a six millimeter. They seem to be both the same size. And we're going to have to wedge it in here just a little bit and it's best to use a ball end so i'm not sure camera girl if you can get in here and see this bolt but it's right here now that i've got a good bite on it i can loosen this now i've already adjusted the handlebars so i'm not going to have to go through loosening these bolts again because they're a little difficult to get to there's one here there's one on the other side so i'm going to loosen this quite a bit uh, i believe they use loctite on it and then I'm going to adjust the bars up or down. Now, if you're a taller rider, you probably want to push the bars up. You have about two, two and a half inches of travel in the handlebars. If you're a shorter rider, not like me, I'm 6'2", but let's pretend I'm only 5'7". So what I wanted to do on this motorcycle is bring these bars back because these bars, uh, police bars, is a police bike. And I'm not sure if all the electric glides uh, have the same type of bars, but I, I, I believe some of them do. And I know the Road King has the exact same bars. These bars have quite a bit of pullback. If you can get this camera girl from the top, maybe. Pullback is the distance from where the curves here to where it curves here. And I believe this one is about nine inches of pullback. And the more pullback you have, the more adjustment you have to pull them down or push them forward. Once you've got them adjusted correctly, you want to make sure you adjust these as well, the brake and the clutch levers, because it may be, you've, since you've, if you pulled it down, you're going to have these possibly too high, so you got adjust these here and you'll tell right away because if you look in the mirror you'll see it's not pointing to where it should be so once you get these on both of these loose and you get the bars to where you want them sit on the motorcycle you want to have a good bend the more bends you have the closer they are to your chest the more leverage you're gonna have within reason of course but like I said with these bikes you have maybe two inches of adjustment two and a half possibly up or down so once you got it to where you want it you're gonna retighten these bolts and make sure these bolts, this one and the one on the other side, are really good and tight. I don't take them out all the way and then put more Loctite on it because I don't think it's necessary. I've never had a problem with it before. But if you have to take them all the way out, if you feel better about putting Loctite on it, that's okay. But it's going to be much more difficult to get the bolts back in there because there's not much room to play with. So once I tighten it all the way up, I'm going to take this plastic piece and I'm going to get it back up in here. You see these two little pieces here, one here and one here. They're gonna fit underneath this plastic right here. That's really all there is to it. And then put the, what size Allen bolts were those? I forget. I thought you were helping me. Nope. I believe it's a, let's see, five thirty seconds, and you're gonna tighten those two bolts that we took out, one on each side. Altogether, this shouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes. If you happen to have a Road King, 
is going to work pretty much the same way, except all you got to do is lift up that tab where it says Road King, pry that up, and you'll get to the same two bolts. You'll be able to loosen those, adjust the bars, and then tighten them back up. It's actually easier on the Road King. Now, the reason I wanted to pull these handlebars down further is because on this motorcycle, I put a low seat on it. This is actually from an Electroglide standard that I had reupholstered so it would match the Revival models. By the way, I also did this on the Revival models. It works the same way. They have the exact same handlebars. But because this seat is lower, that's going to put you a little bit further back from the handlebars. So it needed that type of adjustment. If you're a tall person, yeah, you're going to want to push them up all the way and I would say that's for somebody maybe six foot two or more you want to get them up as far as possible but you want to have a nice bend to your elbows so that you got plenty of leverage especially at low speeds to turn the handlebar notice I've adjusted this to where it's probably an eighth of an inch away from the uh, gas tank console if you if you adjust them down too far because these will go down a little bit further when you go full lock you're going to hit this and, and of course you don't want to do that so i got it as close as possible without it hitting the gas cap or this console right here now let me show you something on the st model now on this st model the handlebars have probably an inch to an inch and a half less pullback so if you turn the handlebars all the way it's already very close to the console. So there's virtually no adjustment I can do. I could push them up further. If I was a tall person, I could push them up further for more comfort. But if you're a short person, you're really out of luck. But you do have another option. And that's gonna to be to get a seat that sits you closer to the handlebars. And the best one I found for that purpose is the Harley Davidson Reach seat. I'm gonna show you one of those. Now this is the Harley Davidson reach seat. This is the two up reach seat. And this will put you a good two inches closer to the handlebars without having to adjust anything. The only problem with it is, notice the back of this, it's, it doesn't look great. It's not a streamlined seat like the regular street glide seat. It's kind of thick in the back. And since this motorcycle comes with a solo seat to begin with, I would put, and I believe they just came out with the Reach Solo Seat. So that's what I would go with. In fact, I'm gonna be getting one for this motorcycle for that reason. It came with the Solo Seat. I wanna keep it as a Solo Seat, but I wanna be a little bit closer to the handlebars. So I'm gonna get the Harley Davidson Reach Solo Seat. That'll also fit on any of the Electroglide models, I think from 2009 to 2022. And also let me remind you, we now have the Ride Like a Pro book, the color version. That's all we're selling now because so many people wanted the color version. They are on the website, ridelikeapro.com. You don't have to call to get this. You can call if you want. But if you go to the website, you can order the book. It's how much, Camera Girl? $32.95. $32.95. Everything you ever wanted to know about riding a motorcycle skillfully is in this book. I wrote the book myself, and I named it Ride Like a Pro because it's very similar to the Ride Like a Pro video, except with the written word, you can go into even more detail. So get yourself a copy of this, $32.95. It'll be the best money you ever spent on your motorcycle. Hey, Motor Man here. And today we're going to talk about... Donna, you're moving the camera all over the place. There's no bugs on they you. They are. They're biting Th me. It's in your mind. No. You have bugs on your mind. You're buggy. <laughs> They're on me. Go ahead. <laughs>